OK, so this example was one taken from a textbook that a student sent me, um, and he was struggling with it. So it was a, a rainfall task, um, the idea being that you uh, you have the uh, the months of the year, um, month 0 through month 11, or you, you but you display it as month 1 to month 12, and you've got to work out, um, input the amount of rainfall, and then you've got to work out the month with the highest and lowest rainfall, the total amount of rainfall, and the average rainfall. So. The uh, the problem is quite self-explanatory, really. It, it does actually go through in the textbook exactly what it is you've got to do. So as you go through the textbook and follow it through, you'll declare a set of variables. It tells you which ones to make whole numbers, which ones to do as floats, and, and so on. So I've done that there. I've got my uh, my little loop here. OK, so I'm doing from 0 to 11, 12 months. So 0 through 11 is 12. And then we go through and it asks us to enter the rainfall for each of the month. So we're putting a rainfall in for each month and we're storing that variable. As we do it, I'm checking to see um, what the first time through, so if it's the first index through, I'm setting up my highest and lowest. So I'm saying um, the highest rainfall must be that one because it's the first one, the lowest must be that one because it's the first one. I'm adding one here because the output for the month, I couldn't output zero as being uh, January, I have to output one, so I've just added one to it for the output. So I've done that there. And then for all the others, it's just a set of um, checks. So here, if the rainfall is greater than the highest rainfall, then I can modify that one. If it's not, if it's lower than the lowest one, I can modify that one. And then I can start my outputs. So I've got my calculation, which is my average rainfall. So it's the total rainfall divided by 12. Um, I work out the total by just keeping a running total of, as I'm going along. As you can see, I'm doing it here. Every time I input it, I, I add it to the running total. Um, I've got to output the total rainfall, the average rainfall, the highest month, so that in that one, and the lowest month. So let's run that and see. Let's show you the whole program so you can get a good idea. So there's the first bit. There's the next little bit. There's the, the two checks, and there's the output. So we'll run it. It's asking me for my rainfall. So if I do. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whoops, it daisy, 50, and then we'll go uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and 12 will do. There we go. So, take them all in, to add them all up to give me my total, works out my average. The highest month was month 5 where I put 50 in, the lowest month was month 10 where I put a 0 in, so we can check that, there we go, month 10 is the 0, where's the 50, there we go, month 5 is the 50, so that's all working fine, um, it's, it's quite a straightforward little program, um, if you're having difficulties with it just give me a bell, um, everything's there that you need, thanks very much.